everybody! It's Dave and Abby here. We are an American Filipina couple who make videos about the beautiful country of the Philippines. It's been almost two years since we started dating, and it's been over six months since I uploaded my most watched video of me surprising Abby at her home after a long distance relationship. Today, we want to make a video answering the most common question we both get about our relationship. How did we meet? How did we meet? How did we meet? Well, it's uh, funny you should ask, Abby. Wait, no it isn't. You already know. <laughs> I gave a brief overview of the story of how we met on my surprise video, so you can go check that out if you want. But we're going to go into a lot more detail here. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. <laughs> The story starts when I moved to Manila in 2022. I was working at a tech startup at the time, and the company chose me to sort of head up the project of opening an office here in Manila. So that's how I ended up in the Philippines. Soon after I moved in and got an apartment and everything, I joined a gym near my place. At that time also, I joined the same gym, and um, so that's how we first met, but not really because I'm the one who first saw him. I saw him in the treadmill station and he runs so fast. So I nicknamed him in my head as the Flash. And I, when he was running in the treadmill, I also used the treadmill beside him because, um, you know, I want to be next to him. <laughs> did you um, introduce yourself? No, I did. At the time, I did not um, talk to him or approach him. Just that is my way of my approaching, using the treadmill beside him. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm also I'm shy. You know, Filipinas are shy. Mm. Her approach is sort of stalkerish. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, um, so, I knew there's a white guy in the gym. I call him Flash. You know, just to share, <laughs> I'm really attracted to white guys. I have never dated a Filipino before him. So, and I also joined that gym because I was also feeling heartbroken and I also want to lose my pandemic weight. <laughs> and after a few days, at, um, at me of seeing him in the gym, I installed a dating app and um, I swipe right to to guys that I find attractive and after a few minutes or hours, I um, we match and he was my first match. But at that time, I did not know that he's the flash in the gym. That's why I, I, I did not swipe right because of that. Of that fact, <laughs> I swear right because he was cute, and um, after we matched, we we had conversation in the app, and then after a few conversations, I realized that we have the same gym, and we decided to meet up in person. Um, so I tell him that oh, there was a flash in the gym, <laughs> so it was you. <laughs> Uh, this was at the time where we were required to wear masks in the gym, yeah, so, so yeah, it's not so easy to recognize anyone there. So after a few conversations, before meeting up also, I asked for him to do video call. I asked for video call because I am afraid maybe he's a scammer and he's just saying yes to all of my questions. Like, are you the flash? <laughs> like, you just look like a scammer, do you? <laughs> because I had um, experience before with um, dating app in, and you met online, this guy, and then he's tried to scam you. But I haven't been scammed, but you know, I had the like, almost, like, almost scammed. Like, I realized, oh, He's asking for, you know, money or something. So that guy, he doesn't want to do video calls. So that's, it's fishy. That's already fishy. <laughs> so I asked for a video call with him and then I saw him and then, oh, okay, he's cute. He looks uh, respectable, he looks like a gentleman. Okay, let's beat up. <laughs> I guess I'm not super fishy. <laughs> Actually, another question that we get asked pretty often is since we technically met online, what are the best dating apps to use for that? This is actually a pretty easy question, but instead of giving you a list of all the dating sites available, I'll just save you time and I'll recommend the best one. That's ChristianFilipina.com. 
Why? Because it's a dating service and not just another dating app. And it's dedicated to helping you match with Filipino women who share your values and beliefs and also are looking for love. They have a whole team of customer service representatives and romance consultants to give you guidance and support if you need it. And they also ensure that the person you're talking to through the site is genuine, legit. So they prioritize the safety of its users. Another great thing about ChristianPilipina.com is that they have a dedicated page just of testimonials of people who found their forever partner through the service. Yeah, you go to that page and you just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling through the testimonials. There's hundreds of successful love stories on this page and it's all because of ChristianPilipina.com. So if you're serious about finding a long-term relationship, click the link in the video description below it's really easy to get started. Yeah, so we did the video calls and we decided we want to meet in person, do a vibe check and any green or red flags, you know. So of course, since we both uh, go to the same gym, we're like, hey, wh why not meet at the gym after your work? And uh, yeah, let's uh, do a workout together. Let's hang out and talk and do weights and stuff. So I got to the gym first. I was, you know, in the middle of my weight sesh and she, <laughs> When she saw me, like, I was wearing the mask still, she was wearing the mask. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, I was just on one of the fixed weight machines and uh, she she recognized me even though I had my mask. Well, you're the only white guy there. Uh, well. <laughs> it's given, oh, it's him. <laughs> kind of giveaway. But, but she sees me from across the room and she literally starts running towards me. Oh, True I did story. not run. No. <laughs> okay, Did well, they... you at least doubled your walking pace. I, oh, I know that. I, maybe I brisk walk. I, I was noticing, like, uh, this person <laughs> just picked up their pace. <laughs> I think it's her. I yeah, think... and then, of course, we just, oh, hi, hello. And then I had the spin class. Uh, a book there in the gym so I did my spin class and we were both sweaty so very <laughs> awkward <laughs> yeah I mean it's, it's not a super great first day but it, honestly I think it's uh, really good because you know it's you kind of get more of a real impression of you know what your partner looks like when they sweat <laughs> exactly looks like you know without being all prepped and made up yeah. and second of all it's like uh, you know how you handle some uh, maybe some frustration or some uh, resistance. Resistance! <laughs> spin class is intense. <laughs> so after the spin class, we, um, I taught him some, some moves I learned from the coach. <laughs> and we tried that together. I taught her how to use some of the fixed weight machines. Yes, I don't, I, up to now I still don't know how to use them. <laughs> She wasn't paying attention to my lesson. She was just like, "Ain't that no?" Indipo, <laughs> not true. She didn't learn anything. She was just staring at me. I guess. Not true. <clears throat> not true. <laughs> anyway, the night didn't end there. We both showered after our workout, and uh, what happened? We went to Wardo. In his bio. He mentioned that he loves Indonesian cuisine and I haven't tried Indonesian so maybe introduce me to Indonesian cuisine. Yeah, that was one of our conversations. She's curious about Indonesian cuisine because it was in my bio. I'm like, it's one of my favorite foods. So she's like, well, introduce me. I'm like, happily. So near the gym was uh, my favorite Indonesian restaurant at the time pretty close within walking distance mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so that's what we did after we showered. Uh, how was the food? I love the food. Um, it's it's like Filipino food but there's a slight difference. <laughs> yeah, they're more focused on curries and... Uh, I like the beef rendang, the noodles, the... The kangkong. The kangkong. That's our favorite, yeah, kangkong. Kangkong. <laughs> Morning glory for those who don't speak Filipino. The Indonesian food was also pretty spicy, but I found out she takes spicy food like a champ, like me. Yeah, <laughs> Turn <love> on! <laughs> green flag! Green flag! I love a woman who enjoys spicy food. So a check. <laughs> yeah. 
That checks one box. <laughs> On the way to the Indonesian restaurant, I have a big gym bag and he carried it from the gym to the restaurant. <laughs> her, her gym bag was like mysteriously heavy. I don't, I don't know if she was carrying like bowling balls or <laughs> what in there. But no, it, it becomes heavy. heavy because of the wet towels and wet clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we were just talking about uh, life and goals and you know where we're at, where we want to be. And yeah, that's how the evening went. Yeah, at the time I already know that he's just gonna stay for Manila for a couple of months. So it was like at that time my head was like, okay, we'll just I don't know, enjoy each other's company. I did not expect we'll be like this. <laughs> yeah, after that day also, I uninstalled the dating app. <laughs> I'm still busy at work, at life, that I don't have time for men. I I like him from our first date and okay, I'm just gonna keep with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. <Beth. laughs> no, seriously, so <clears throat> I find him. Dave is very different with typical Western guys, I see. I knew from our first day that he's a respectable man and he's a kind guy. That's why I like him. Like, given that he's just not a white guy or like my type, but he has a good personality. I know that he won't hurt me or something. <laughs> so that's a green flag for me. So yeah, after that we dated for uh, three more months. Um, how it became a long distance relationship was, well, the company I worked for basically dissolved and I had no way of making money while I was still in the Philippines so had to move back to the US to find some more work and uh, figure things out and yeah it was a whole year like yeah. 11 months <laughs> one year almost one year yeah right around one year that uh, I was moved in the US we would video call every day and uh, Try to keep the relationship going. I was like, I think this one's worth holding on to. Yes. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Of Such course. confidence. <laughs> yes. And then I surprised her by ending the long distance relationship early. Me surprising her, that video is linked in the description if you want to check that out. It's uh, pretty good. <laughs> Don't tell them, they already know that it's pretty good. <laughs> it was the best day of your life. Come on. <laughs> Give me a little credit. <laughs> so that's our story. Thanks for sticking with us. If you like our How We Met video, give us a thumbs up or four. We're also doing a full Q&A video that's gonna come out next month. So be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. Okay, bye y'all.